Hi, it's Super Warp Gary on the forum, and I wanted to discuss something with you guys today. Uh, something I purchased at the uh, Amherst train show a couple weeks ago. Uh, Dave Connolly slash Dave C on the forum uh, clued me into these a couple of years ago, and I finally bought them. What they are is from American Hobby Distributors is a PSX AC circuit breaker which um, I've just installed two of them on my layout. As you can see here, I have uh, two main lines, and I'm using one uh, PSX for each main line. What they are is a combination microprocessor-controlled circuit breaker, and installed with them is a transorb. Everybody talks about the need for um, circuit protection, especially for our uh, sensitive uh, rail sounds and um, PS2 uh, engines. These little buggers accomplish all the protection you'll ever need. Uh, they have a transorb built in for spike protection and they are also microprocessor controlled circuit breakers. And they're programmable by uh, jumper wire to um, the current output you want. The current output can be either a uh, minimum 4.8, 8 amps, 12.2 amps, or 15.4 amps. And these suckers, as of right now, I have uh, set up for 8 amps per main line. In fact, they're so fast that they beat even fuses when it comes to circuit protection but I'll, I'll do a little demonstration here in a minute. Okay, my setup is I've got my own uh, built power supply. In here is a uh, 20 amp transformer, which just for ha-has and bat super backup, I have a 15 amp fuse, which runs to my TPC 300. From the TPC 300, um, I have two lines, one going to track two current meter, track one, current meter which then runs into the track 1 PSX and the track 2 PSX and from there it goes up to the uh, DCS which you can see here and then out to the tracks um, that's just the way I've decided to uh, wire them you can wire them any way you want you can wire them before this after this any which way I wouldn't wire them after the pro uh, after the TIU that is because you don't want to degrade the uh, DCS signal. So let me give you a little demonstration here. Now how many of you would have the Canonas to do this? Remember that my power supply has a 20 amp draw in it. Here you can see a jumper wire and what I will do is I'll short out the track and you can see what happens. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. As you can see, you can buy a buzzer separately, and the buzzer will sound when there's a short, and let me reset it here. The buzzer will sound when you're telling you that there's a short. Now, there's two ways you can wire these suckers. Um, they, come, uh, they come set up that um, if there's a short, it'll keep trying to reapply the power every, I think it's four seconds. But what I've done is wired an externally, uh, normally closed switch, which is right here. Um, I've gotten this off, uh, off uh, I'm an avionics tech, so I got this off an aircraft, um, that which wasn't needed anymore. I still have to screw it down. All right, one side is uh, track one reset. The other side is track two reset. And as you can see, there's also LEDs installed on here. This one is uh, that it's powered up. This one that there's uh, power to the track. Now if I short it out again, see I also noticed that regularly with a fuse there would have been a huge spark, there would have been arc welding, and this there's hardly anything. Okay as you can see with even with the buzzer noise that means there's a short. It was tripped. As you can see the one next to it the uh, indication is still track power. So what I will do is I'll reset and now I got track power again. So these little devices are neat and in my opinion a must-have 
to protect your uh, layout from uh, shorts, zapping, spike protection, what have you. I hope you find this video helpful. And Evan, say hi. Hi. And enjoy the video on the forum.